I think you have been part of different partnerships all through your entire time in Maine. So, you know, I people said some really lovely things in the nomination for you. You know, they talked about your good, your cheerful good nature, your absolute integrity, which that's high praise, um, and you know, sort of a, a, as being a role model for community engagement. So I know you know, you've not been the person who's kind of been the out front person for folks, but this oh. year, the, um, the committee was, you know, it was a tough year. I mean, it was a tough year at multiple levels, mm -hmm. but, and there were some great nominees, but they decided that they wanted to do something this year a little bit different. And they wanted to recognize somebody who really, as they said, kind of acted like the glue for organizations, to hold organizations together. Not necessarily somebody who was in the limelight, but somebody who did that, kept organizations moving mm -hmm. forward, utterly dependable. And, you know, the phrase unsung heroes came out. And this was a year, I think, when it just made a lot of sense to honor um, people who are our unsung heroes. And you know, I think you are clearly one of those people. And I just, I want to say thank you for all your very, very many years of, of service. And they aren't over yet, I am sure. <laughs> this thing, if, I don't know if the reflections are on there, okay. I will get yeah. to you. It says, presented to Susan Alexander, the SB Land Heritage Award 2021 for her quiet dedication to conservation unwavering integrity and tireless commitment to building lasting connections between the people of Maine's mid-coast communities and their surrounding landscapes. So at some point, we will get this to you and it'll be hanging on the wall. So the next time we're on a Zoom together, I can look at it on the wall behind you or something like that. Well, um, I, am, I am overwhelmed. I can't begin to thank you. Oh. Thank you. This is a great honor for me and I'm very grateful to you and to uh, everybody who's been involved with this and surprised beyond belief. <laughs> well, that's, that's music to my ears. That it would be a surprise is, is a wonderful thing. Yep. It's a wonderful thing. In the mid 1980s, I was working in a clerical technical ca capacity at Rockport Town Office. Among my duties was taking minutes of select board and planning board meetings and meetings of other municipal groups. One day a Rockport resident, Peter Hyman, who served on a municipal committee for which I did minutes, came in and asked me to type up a press release announcing the formation of a new local land conservation group, the Camden Rockport Land Trust. The article said that you could become a member by sending a check to a certain post office box in Rockport. I was already a member of Maine Coast Heritage Trust from before I moved to Maine. My first husband and I liked to cruise the coast of Maine on chartered sailboats. I appreciated being able to go ashore on uninhabited offshore islands. I admired the beauty of the undeveloped shoreline and wanted to be able to help preserve some undeveloped land along the coast of Maine. So when I learned about the formation of Camden Rockport Land Trust, I wrote a small check and mailed it on my way to deliver the press release to the Camden Herald. A few days later, Peter Hyman was back in my office Susan, he cried, we've got our first member. It's someone named Susan Alexander from Waldoboro. He could not understand why someone from Waldoboro would want to be a member of the Camden Rockport Land Trust. I said, Peter, that's me. He did not know my last name. He knew me as Susan at the town office. A few weeks later, he came back to the office and said, we want you to be our secretary. I thought that he meant that he wanted me to take minutes of land trust board meetings. I was flattered to be asked. I was going to do it anyway, but I thought it would be professional to ask how much the job paid. He looked surprised and said, it doesn't pay anything. 
I did not understand that I was being invited to join the board of Camden Rockport Land Trust and indeed to be an officer of that board. So that is how I became the first board secretary of Camden Rockport Land Trust, which later became Coastal Mountains Land Trust. I continued on the board until I was asked to join the board of a new land trust that was forming in the Walterboro area, Madamic Valley Land Trust. I thought that there might be a real or perceived conflict of interest if I were to serve on the boards of two neighboring land trusts at the same time. So I resigned from the Camden Rockport Land Trust Board, but continued to take minutes of its meetings. I have continued taking minutes of Coastal Mountains Land Trust Board meetings for some 35 years up to the present day in 2021. I take minutes of, for a bunch of organizations, including currently the uh, Walterboro Select Board and Planning Board, which I've done for 35 years, the latter. I'm relatively new with the Select Board, but I've taken Planning Board minutes for a long, long time. I, I take minutes of the 12 Rivers Conservation Initiative, mm -hmm. the Friendship Museum, uh, the Martin Point Association, which is the street that I live on in Friendship, uh, some other local groups. In the early days, before we had an office, board meetings and committee meetings were held in people's homes. Volunteers worked from their homes. We had a lot of technical and practical assistance from Maine Coast Heritage Trust staffers and attorneys. We had a model conservation easement that we learned how to modify and adapt to fit individual properties. We attended regional and national land trust conferences. We acquired tax maps and landowner lists for the towns in our service region. We designed a brochure about our services to landowners and the importance of local land conservation and did mass mailings to residents of area towns. I am not a wealthy person. I make modest financial contributions annually to a number of charitable nonprofit organizations. My only conservation land transaction was bargain sale of the back land of the old Alexander egg farm in South Walterboro. 40 acres with frontage on a pond to Madamic Valley Land Trust. This property is now Midcoast Conservancy's Mill Pond Preserve off Fintown Road. Many people whom I know personally or know of have done a very great deal more than I have in terms of both money and real estate in support of local land conservation. I am truly amazed and humbled to have been chosen as this year's recipient of the ESPY Land Heritage Award. Thank you.